Welcome to the official website of Drake CMS. This is the first in a series of tutorials that are designed to assist you in acquiring, installing, the initial setup and the basic usage of Drake CMS. Firstly, select download from the main menu. This will take you to the Drake CMS project site hosted on SourceForge.net. Here you will find the latest releases and official add-ons that may be available for Drake CMS. Select Download Drake CMS. The official releases are available in a number of different archived formats. One of these archives may contain the tech Veloce. This is a special release with an automated, automated installer. This will be covered in a later tutorial. Select the release you intend to use in the archived format of your choice. For the purposes of this tutorial I shall use the download in the zip format. Download the archive to a directory on your local hard drive that you are able to easily navigate to after the download completes. I have chosen to use my root directory for simplicity. Now create a temp directory on your local drive. I had previously created one called Drake. Unarchive the Drake CMS download into this previous created directory maintaining the directory structure and file format as unarchived. Now, using your favourite file transfer program, connect to the hosting service you intend to place Drake CMS on. Navigate to the directory you intend to upload Drake CMS into, either your WebSpaces root directory or create a separate directory to upload in, as I have done in this example. Select the Drake CMS files and directories as they were created on your local drive and upload them to your hosting service. Ensure the file and directory structure is maintained exactly as they were created on your local drive. On completion of the transfer, select all files in the Drake CMS root directory and Chmod permissions of these to a minimum of 755. Set all directories to a minimum of 755 as well. Once the installation is completed, you may find that during the setup process you have to return to this point and Chmod a number of the directories to 777. These directories are detailed in the setup docs. Once the full install and setup process has completed, you may also return to this point and set the config.php file that is in the private directory to uh, 644. This adds an additional security layer to your system. This ends stage 1.